Hello, welcome to This Guy Edit, where you can see this guy edit. Alpha 39 Nancy, take one, soft sticks. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a new kind of thinking. Action. As you might know from early episodes, I'm currently cutting a feature directed by Mark Webber. He just finished shooting it in Pennsylvania, and I'm now here in Los Angeles doing the first cut. As I mentioned in several previous episodes, I'm a firm believer that selecting is the most important part of editing. Selecting is where you look at the footage and you pick your shots. I've done an early episode about a selecting process that I've been doing for the entire time that I've been an editor, so for more than 10 years. And then a couple of weeks into the project, I realized that I need to switch editing systems and that selecting process is out the window. The more I read about Final Cut 10, I realized the best way that I can edit on this platform is to embrace the selecting process in a new way. Before I really get into this topic, here is why I don't like to talk about software, usually. All the major editing softwares are great tools to edit, and I think that's exactly what they are. They're tools. Everybody's going to have their preference based on what they know, what they're used to, the way that they like to work. I've cut most of my features on Avid. I've cut some documentaries on the old Final Cut system, Final Cut 7. I started working with DaVinci Resolve. Whatever I use, I usually tend to prefer it at that given moment. But here's why I'm going to talk about software today. It really requires my brain to work differently in Final Cut 10. And there are some advantages and disadvantages to that process. If you're not familiar with timeline-based selecting, take a look at the earlier episode. I go through it and I tell you how I pull my shots and how I put them on different levels where something that is really amazing is on the highest level that I have some form of visual waveform of a take and I can really quickly pinpoint what are the strong moments that are most likely going to end up in my cut. Some Final Cut 10 editors try and apply the time-based selecting and I emulated that and quickly realized it's very difficult to do that. Rather embrace what Final Cut 10 is trying to do here, which is an event-based selecting. What does that mean? If you look, for example, at the shots over here, these are all my shots. And they're in this, what Final Cut 10 calls the event folder. This is an event, this is an event. Each scene in this particular movie is an event then each scene has all the different shots of that particular scene in there. And you can already tell here, I have some sort of boxes. This is a red box, this is a red box. And I have some yellow boxes here as well. And these are moments that I picked and selected to potentially use in an edit. All the stuff that's red, I don't really need. What I did is I rejected them and I can just hit hide rejected, they disappear. I never have to look at them again. And that's nice because I don't want to look at something that I know it's never going to make it into the movie. For example, the film Clapper. Alpha 39 Bravo, take one. So, and then the, the shot settles in. Yep. Um, Cameraman says he's set. Set. So all the stuff here, that's like a good third of the clip, I never ever have to look again. So by marking it as a reject, it's gone. And then this is a moment here that I picked that I like. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> okay. So there's a good medium shot of her with a nice reaction. And I can make these clips bigger. I'm gonna play the clip and I'm gonna do my selecting. Real A20, B8, scene, Apple 39, Apple, take one. Did you see that, Dustin? Yep. Okay. No. Uh, careful your shadow, let's see, actually. Thank you. And set. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and the scene starts here. So from here to here, all the stuff I don't need. So I'm just going to hit delete, and it's going to reject it, and it's going to disappear. It's still there if I wanted to, if I show all clips, it's still there and it has the red line over here. And if I do hide rejected, it disappears. Okay. Oh boy. Can you 
Fuck. Can you push? Yeah. I so let's say this oh. moment here where he says, fuck, can you push? Maybe that's something I like. Fuck. Can you push? Yeah. So then I'm going to select it. I'm going to press the key F. And you see that that little yellow line appears here, and it's selected. Can you push? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get the... Go down here. All right, that's kind of trying to go straight up. Okay. Motherfucker. Up, up. I like this. It's kind of trying to go straight up. Okay. Motherfucker. Sorry, babe. Uh, why am I? Why am I? Come on, come Sorry, babe. Uh, why, wait, why am I down here? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This is stuck in the door. I'm stuck behind you, the wall. Fucker. You want to uh, just live down hold there? Hold on. Okay. got a jam. Okay. I like all okay. that. Can you select it? Oh, okay. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Good work. Uh, oh. Is it too heavy down there? No, I got it. Right, hold on, I can get here and pull it. Okay. Fuck. <sighs> so this part here I don't like because I have a shot in the shot. It's not the sexiest kind of shot. So before that, I like it. After that, not that. <sighs> This is not a good shot for me. Are you there? Yeah. Oh, uh, but this is. <laughs> so I'm gonna select this part. Are you there? Yeah, I got it. Okay, I have it okay. too. I'm just gonna pull it up. up, up. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Motherfucker. Fucking <sighs> yeah. this stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, catch my breath. I'll be here. Uh, All right. Uh, catch my breath. I'll be here. Um. <laughs> are you able to push it when I pull? Yeah. Select that. All right. Um, okay. Turn three. Around. One, two, three. No. One. Two, three, there we go. Ah. <laughs> okay. And the shot is over. So that's basically all there is to it. And now I've selected the parts that I like and I can fairly quickly um, get to them and start editing. I have this function here where I only want to see everything that's favorite and then they become shots on its own and I can put them in the timeline and start editing one by one. So I have that option. Now if you have seen the previous episode, the way that I selected, I had three different categories. I had the things that just existed, I had the things that are good, and I had the things that are gold. So here I only have two options, the things that happened and the things that are good. Now let's say this moment here is really a gold moment because it's a cute shot of her. I want to give that some special marking. I can create my own keywords and I created the keyword gold. This is my shortcut, gold. And then over here where I have all my different keywords, I can just click on that and I get that gold moment here separately. So now when I start editing, I'm not going from a timeline with the select, I'm still in the shot. So let's say I like this moment, I can cut it in. I like this moment, I'm gonna cut it in. And then I move on to the next shot. Maybe I'm in this scene here now. They're already over there and I've selected a shot here. And I start cutting. So it really makes a process that used to be somewhat of a rational process and it becomes more of an intuitive process. As I'm cutting, I'm constantly going over these shots and as you can see with the scrubber here, as I'm hovering over these shots, it feeds me these visuals constantly. 
So my brain is constantly being stimulated by visuals. The whole idea is wherever you go, or whatever you touch, it immediately gives you an image. And it really triggers a different part in your brain as you're editing. As I'm looking for a different shot, I'm just scrubbing for ideas. And when I see something I like, I start putting it in and I start building my edit this way. So it's much more fluid, much more creative in a way, I think. And it really encourages instinct and inspiration lead me to find my next shot, as opposed to a rational process where I found all my shots before. There are two advantages to this. It keeps it fresh and interesting, and it is very fast. I'm, I'm pretty convinced that at this stage, I'm actually cutting twice as fast as on a different system. There's less clicking, there's less moving around, there's more constantly being stimulated by these moving images that entice you to edit them in. So it's a much faster and more intuitive process. The risk is that you might miss something if you don't really pay attention or it's been a couple of days since you've done your selection. You might lose all that imagery because it's more in your head than it is on the timeline. You have to train yourself to be really open to discover this footage in a very emotional way. But I'm willing to go along with it and so far I really like the results because it is faster and it is fresher. The edit becomes more interesting. Let's take a look at one more shot here. So you can tell I already picked my favorites here and I can just highlight my favorites. These are the five moments that, that I liked. Are you okay? Yeah, baby. Great. What the fuck did you take? What are you talking about? I didn't take shit. Yeah, you're just nodding out, I'm driving right. down the street. I had a couple fucking beers. Is this... Yes, Idaho? make a left. Oh, you don't need to drive. Yeah, I think I should because you're, you... Just pull, the, pull over. Are I'm you, serious. Are you fucking yes. kidding me right yeah. What you're doing right now is you're not being trusting me, which I'm is... So very quickly I can see the good moments here and I can play them in real time. The actress, by the way, Maddie, she's from Orange is the New Black. They ain't letting people out who hasn't done the whole time. And Maddie plays Mark's ex-girlfriend. So that's it. I hope I made sense. There's a new kind of thinking with Final Cut 10. In a way, you're eliminating one step. The advantages is that it's faster it's more intuitive, the disadvantages, it's a little bit more fleeting, and you might miss something. It really challenges you as an editor to really feel your way through the edit. And in a way, I prefer it. And with that, I'm going to end with one single cut, the segment where you make an edit. If you're interested to be featured on the next segment, send me a 10 second clip with a single cut. I hope you liked this episode and I'll see you on the next one.